Woo, and right off the bat, there's music, and I'm rocking out. The color has changed. They've added new texts. I'm immersed. It's brand new. Except not really, but you know. Let's go. This is copyright free, guys. And that's it, guys. That's the mod. They uh, changed the color and they added some texts. I know this video is a little bit of a debate, but you know I'm trying to make men ends be here. Now let's get, let's get to see what we got here. Whoa! Defend the heart from adventuring intruders who intend to slay the spire. Wait, are you saying we switch roles? I'm excited. I'm excited. Choose your villain. Oh, I'm giddy, I'm giddy. The slime boss. Oh, I've always wanted to be the slime boss. I wanted to kill... Guys, if I don't beat every silent that comes my way... Unfollow. Okay? We're gonna be the slime boss. I want to kill every silent player that's trying to get through Act 1. They think they're gonna get through Act 1. Little do they know this slime boss, aka me, is waiting for them. This is gonna be hilarious. The heart's slimiest general can fight as one or as many. Heart of goo, whenever you consume, heals two HP. Let's do it. I don't have any of the unlocks, anyways, either. It's like a brand new game. Rise, servant, says the heart. Ooh, look at the animations. Such good work. I approve. Shows how many souls you are carrying. Souls can be given to the heart for rewards. Yes. At least confront the first intruder. Enemies in your next two combats flee in terror. You know what? I want max HP. Because I don't want them to flee. And even this is reversed. And even this is upside down. I love it. I love it. We're in Australia, baby. So. That's a lot of campfires. One, two, three, four. Wait, but how do I see the heart in this? So wait, if I see the heart... If I see the heart... Does he like thank me? So I get his keys? He's like, oh, thank you, sir. Like what? I wouldn't, I'm gonna go for the heart. I just don't know how that's gonna work. And is the special elite, is that supposed to be like ironclad or something? Like how does that work? I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Let's take a look at our deck. We have strike, strike, strike. We have defend, 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 of course. And then we have tackle. Deal 10 damage and 3 damage to yourself. Choose one of four slimes to split into. You lose 4 HP and spawn a slime minion who attacks at the start of each turn. While the slime is alive, your max HP is reduced by 4. If you have no empty slots, your oldest slime is automatically absorbed to make room, granting you 1 strength. Or apply 6 goop. The next attack deals 1 more damage per goop, removing all goop and triggering any consume effects. And consume heals me. So this is how we heal. Let's do split plus. No one say a damn thing. We have so many questions. They're all rhetorical. Every question I have is rhetorical. I have a lot of questions. My mind's going a million miles per minute. But none of the questions will be answered until I find them. Because I will find the answer to my questions. I'm just a rhetorical man. This is how I process information. I ask rhetorical questions and then get confused and then I get rid of my confusion. And AK learn. That's the goal at least. Let's split into some stuff. I want to split into a Bruiser for damage or Gorilla for AoE. Meyer to do some attack for two, so double hits and two goop, nice, or some block. Let's go for the bruiser. And then you know what? I'll get some block. Does that work? Do I get block now? At the beginning of turn, nice. And if I add some goop, I should heal for what? Six? Only for one. Okay, fair enough. But when they die at the end of combat, I get all the healing back. Ah! Okay, wait a minute. Hey, Gados Scarf. Hey, welcome, man. Oh, it's Gados Scarf. I thought it was Scarf. I mean, my, my, the font's too small. A 
apply one vulnerable and four goop. Vulnerable seems really nice. Combo tackle, do 11 damage and 3 damage to yourself, draw a card. That's not bad. Vicious tackle, do 14 damage and 3 damage to yourself. This gains twice the damage bonus from goop. Ooh, vicious tackle's not bad. I like the vulnerable. And I like that it exhausts. And I also want to fight a lot of elites because we are an Ascension 1. I take it back, we're on Ascension 0. Guys, it would be foolish for me not to do every elite we see on Ascension 0. So we are still fighting the normal stuff, which makes sense. You can't redesign the whole game. I guess these are all enemies of the Spire, I suppose. If you want to look at it in context of the lore. This is a mod called the Downfall Expansion. Supply Vulnerable. Let's split. Let's do Bruiser. And some AoE. Let's strike. And double defense. Their residence and is a rebellion. So max HP is temporarily reduced by eight. That's what it says in the bottom there. It's a really cool mod. Absolutely. I want to learn exactly how much I heal when I reconsume these. I just want to learn this. I would have got a lot of value actually out of. Um, I would have gotten a lot of value out of putting the a block slime. So I get eight. So it's four per. Cool. Living wall. Gain twelve block. Apply four group to attackers' this turn. That's awesome. Pile on, deal 8 damage, command all slimes. Ah, so it's like, hey, trigger these orbs. Like the old adage, not the old adage, a homage to Prime, right? It was, or the old Fission. There was an old card in the Defects where you can trigger all your orbs. Was it Fission? It was Fission, right? An old homage. No, you could trigger all your orbs, like all their effects, right? That was a thing that you could do. Remember, you can like scale up your dark orbs with it. Does anybody remember? No, it wasn't fission. It w there was a way to s trigger all of your orbs, and it was called. I remember. I used to use your dark orbs a lot. No, I know, but this was an old, old variant. I'll think of it. I like this. It gives me block. I need block cards, and it also gives me sustain. This happens at the beginning of the big turn, so what I want to do is just like, at this point, just bruiser them up. This gives me sustain, so I'll do the goop. This block. That guy just gooped out of his mind. That guy just gooped out of his mind. I apply some goop because I want to get some healing. Kill me. Nice. Command all slimes. Somebody remembered the name. Somebody in YouTube. The YouTube is a smarter audience because they also have time to Google, right? They're gonna remember the name. Or what I was, what it was called, where you could trigger all the passive effects of your orbs. It'll come to my mind as well. I just gotta think about it. It'll come to my mind. Uh, game block and goop and get out of the deck. Let's do pile on. Let's try this out. Lose usually break it and gain scrap ooze. Locked if you reach inside. Uh, what's Scrap Ooze? Does anybody know? I, I can recruit it. Wait, I can recruit... The oh, they changed the events. I can recruit the Scrap Ooze. He is an Ooze after all. At the start of combat, spawn Scrap Ooze. At rest sites, you can donate a card to the Scrap Ooze, modifying his damage. Plus one for uncommons, plus two damage for rares, minus one damage for commons, minus two damage for curses. What a cool mechanic. Michael, shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Does anybody have Michael on Discord? So maybe I could talk to him or he can see that I'm playing this and we can like... Wait, the events are what's really cool here, man. You can gain the Sharpened Fragment, which Shiv... Uh, it gives me a Crystal Shiv at the start of each turn. Or I can get the Broken Wing Statue. The cultists that worship the Awakened One will be interested in this. 
The coldest that worship the Awakened will be interested in this. This is sick. I'm gonna take that. And hopefully I can find the, the coldest that work up awaken one. Yuria, yes. Does that apply to my does my do my um do my slimes get infected by strength? Somehow I'm doubtful. I can remove a card and, and give damage to my scrappers. I can give him like pile on for instance. But I wanna lift. But also let's see what other upgrades we have. So this is to command all slimes twice. Oh that's a really good upgrade. We need some energy for that, though. Am I really going to do Sparkle right now? Am I going to die? There's a chance I died to Sparkle. I'm not that strong right now. I can't be that aggressive. Look at the Scrap Boost, though. This also gives us... Like, sustain. Because when we finish the combat, we actually eat that. Wait, is game over? Wow. Alright. Pile on and Scrap Boost, I think we have really good damage. DOA damage consumed commands. Um, bonus effect which activates when an attack is used on an enemy who has goop. So if they have goop, I can do a command and make my leading slam attack. That's interesting. Deal 4 damage, add a random zero cost card to your hand. I like this. Nibble is cool. I like RNG. Alright, Mr. Lagavulin. I'm gonna goop you up. And unfortunately, he's gonna wake up next turn anyways. But you know what? I'll buy myself a turn. Oh, wait, he doesn't wake up. So did I do leeching or apply goop? Let's, let's do block. And let's do pylon. Alright, boys. Pylon is big. Ew. Nibble. Let's do uh, vulnerable. Apply for goop, heal two, nice. Apply goop, damage, lock. Pile on. GG. Wow! This is a booty slapper. Toxic egg is fantastic. What a run. You need lick. You apply for a goop. You heal two, and you draw a card. Get out of your deck. Fuel our pain. The first time you will take damage or lose HP on one of your turns, an enemy takes that much damage on instead. So on my turn, if I'm attacking or doing something, that would make me take damage. So for instance, uh, my self-damaging cards, like tackle or thorns, for instance, I can negate one one negative effect of tackle. I can negate one negative effect of thorns. On an enemy. That's okay power. But I think Rejuvenate League is more proactive, right? Deal 4 damage game 4 block. This is like Iron Wave. Uh, but if they have goop, then increase this card's effect by 4. So if they have goop, by this combat. So if they have goop, this becomes 8 and 8. And then if they have goop again, they be this becomes 12 and 12. This is a scaling card. This is very interesting. Granted, you have goop, which is very easy to get with split. You can get a goop monster. This becomes a scaling card. So it scales in block and in damage. And what's the upgrade of this? Whoa, this becomes a 10-10, 15-15. This is quite a good card. I know it's a common, but for boss fights, this is kind of insane. Would this block the 8 damage from splitting? That's a very good question. When you split, you take a damage. So this is an interesting power. There's a lot of times where you take self damage, whether it be from tackle, whether it be from thorns, whether it be from splitting, for instance. So this would save a lot of life in the long run. But growth punch is some good scaling. I don't know if I need it right now, but this is not a bad card. I'm gonna try fewer pain. It's a nice power. I need some powers. So what can we do at shops if I have souls? Let's let's find out. We're about to find out, boys. What can we do at shops? Let me see something. Let me let me at Michael Mayhem and see if he wants to watch. Maybe he can answer questions as well. All right, so we put after the pain. Let's try this out. Let's double def <clears throat> double defend. Let's try this to. Oh, we already know tackle's gonna work, but I want to do damage. So let's do this. 
3 damage to is random. Okay, nice. You think it's still souls? I guess, yeah. Nothing to steal. If I do split, does it revert the damage? Only the four part, but the second first part of the... Okay, so there's two splits. There's one that's... uh. Splits twice, that makes sense. Manly recombine with your leading slime, returning the max speed to upon it and gaining one strength. Nice. Gaining one strength is quite fantastic. I don't want to tackle because it's a, it just does damage to me for no reason. I was I was taking all three. Yeah, those were those were great. Those were absolutely great. Uh, goop spray. Apply 14 goop to and three vulnerable to all enemies. This is insane. So the next attack does 14 to all of them. And three vulnerable. Wait, this is insane. That's insane, insane, insane. We also got another growth punch. So I want to check out what the shop does. I had to fight him. Whoa! Wait a minute. Okay. I have approved. I like it. I like it. I like it. I forgot to do vulnerable, guys. I forgot to do vulnerable. Whoops. He's probably going to run. Probably like cumulative. Or maybe he's not going to run and I'm scared. Oh my lord. Serve and protect. So gain two momentary dexterity for each spawn slime. Gain six block. Gains two additional blocks for each spawn slam. So I can do tackle relatively free because. Throwing his pennies at me. He plans to buff. Ooh, is this a scary fight? Is this considered like an elite fight of his own? Probably, huh? Add four random Zero cards to your hand. Nice. Oh, now he's trying to run away. But does that... He stole only 15 of my souls. Wait, he stole my souls? So this is... Does this damage, like... If I, do I get to fight him later on? He's going to keep that damage on him? Okay, that's a rhetorical question. I'm wondering if this damage is going to stay on him. We're going to find out next time we find him. Rhetorical question. Sacrifice. Oh, I get to see the heart instead. Whoa, whenever you play a power attacking skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. Now, this would be potentially nice because we have a thing that says momentary dexterity sometimes, but that was a random card, never mind. And I don't have that many powers, so orange pellets is whatever. Manipulate time. You may only play one boss card in a turn. Time meter. Gain 14 block triggers all effects that happen at the start of your turn. That's an interesting card. All the effects that happen at the start of my turn, I get to trigger and gain 14 block. That's not a bad card for 90, 90 souls. Gain 11 block. Next turn, gain 2 energy and draw 2 cards. That's very good as well. Good block and good card draw. Add 3 licks. Not bad. Slurper's not bad. Prepares. Prepare and maybe the time are my favorite. Orange pellets is interesting. Because Orange Plus does work with some of these cards that are like momentary dexterity, momentary that, but I don't have any that much power. So I'm going to play proactive and take prepare and manipulate time. I, I wish I could remove a strike, but okay. Do 8 damage, heal 4 HP. If this is played on something that has goop, you can play this twice. So you can do 8 H heal 8 HP. That's good sustain. That's a good sustain card. It's a little expensive, but we also just got a card that gives us energy. Coming from a dapper looking cheeky cheery gremlin, despite your menacing appearance, he seems to be unfazed, though you do catch him heavily glancing backstage. It's time to spin the wheel, are you ready? Alright, 
I gotta swim the wheel like anybody else. I see this events are changed except for this one. And thank you, brother. I'm gonna assume that RNG is my favorite because I'm a slime bus. A free heal. I can do it again? Well, that's new. Wait, I never got the option to do it again. I didn't take a look at the potions, you're right. Alright, I kind of pick again, but I also greedy and want the heal. What can I say? Ew, living wall is nice here. Prepare is not bad either. I think I like prepare better. Bet he won't let it get on the bad ones. Heh. <laughs> I wonder if like... Yeah, that would have been interesting. Alright, so fear, fear our pain. Split. Let's do the uh, goop slime. And if they have goop, let's see if I can apply goop here. Oh, I apply goop to all enemies, which is great, because now when I do equalize, I heal up to eight. Fantastic. Fantastic. Beautiful. Got a flex pot. Whoa, we got our first rare card. Duplicated form. Lose 15 HP and 15 max HP this combat. The first card you play each turn that targets enemies is played twice. Yes, sir. You don't got to tell me twice. Play the top card of your draw pile. Repeat for each of your spawn slimes. That's also really good. But duplicated form it is. Flex boss not bad. Hmm. We're getting close to our first boss fight, guys. Uh, well, nothing happened at the start of my turn, but technically, it would have been sp Scrapoos. So, uh, do I test if it activates Scrapoos? Just, like, test it? Let's test it. It does, even though it never technically triggered. Interesting. This would have been a lot of value out of a Goop Living Wall, but I just wanted to test that. Goop Spray. Alright, so this is tough because Split is really good with the Gorilla Slime and then Pile On. Did I just kill everything? <laughs> Flashing of the Forge, not bad. Okay. Split into your Bruiser Slime. Command three times. Whoa, the fact that it commands three times is interesting. So it makes it go 15 damage, technically. So if my booster slime is in the front, it does 15 damage. It's not the worst. <clears throat> Deal 12 damage and three damage to yourself. Add a random tackle card to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Tackle cards are pretty good because we have this power called the, uh, what's it called? Fill our pain. So tackle cards are generally pretty okay for us because we don't actually take the negative effect of tackles. But I don't know if I want random tackles. I don't know if I want to split booster either. All right, let's go. And Silent is the first one. And what do you know, guys? I mean, I told you. Act one, Silent, Slam Boss. It's a match in heaven. Michael Wayne clearly knows what he's doing. He knows the game, right? So I want to read some of these events. So. Draw two less cards and lose energy at the start of your turn. The Dreamcatcher. This has a lan she has a lantern. Boss removed a card from this deck. Boss upgraded a card with upgrade shine. Souls was traded to the random exchange for extra relic. And a bag of prep. We could see this is crazy. I love it. So it's intending to do dash, weaken, and block. This is amazing. This is amazing. Let me use the bathroom real quick. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. Alright, guys. So uh, 13 damage coming my way. Um I want to fill our plane split and pile on. So let's do fill our plane split. Let's get some block coin. Gooper's not bad though. Let's get some block going and some bruiser going. And let's pile on. Nice. Should I do downfall? 
I'll take I'll take some damage. It's fine. I want to be weak in next turn. So the sil silent only has two energy though, so it's doing accuracy. Uh, the silent chose accuracy. Oh, it's gonna lose so hard. Flying knee is uh, crazy. Manipulate time's not bad either though. It chose accuracy. What is the silent doing? Everybody who shows accuracy in their in their game, they're like shaking right now. They feel personally attacked. Let's do a uh, haunting lick and then manipulate time. Quality mud, man. Quality mud. Cloak. Okay, cloak and dagger of accuracy. Okay, wait. I no longer. I take it all back. Wait. Uh. Okay, because accuracy was a good choice. Accuracy was a good. Okay, I can't take it back. That was a good choice. I can heal a decent amount, actually. This is duplicated form. I can't really play that right now. But living wall is great. Let's see what we get here. Let's, do, let's just do living wall defense. Nice. So the silent has 100 HP because he got Nyao's Blessing, which is a downfall relic. And now he has um, 100 max HP. And draw two less cards. And um, lose one energy. But they're going to gain another maximum 100 max HP at the start of each axe. So I'm assuming I'm going to fight the silent again. And she's going to have 100 max more HP. Or maybe somebody else. We'll find out. Okay, that blade dance and sucker punch. Okay, accuracy was a good choice. You know what? I take it all back. I was talking all this smack, but then you have some. Okay, but that's okay. Okay, this is GG now. Ah, but I want to do equalize to heal. Whatever, it's GG. Let's get out of here. Okay, you, cho you chose two accuracies, and that was your problem, Sally. You chose two accuracies. That was a big problem. When you absorb a slime, gain one strength. Manually recombine with your leading slime. Wait, I can't wait to do this Ascension 20. I wonder if Ascension 20, the silent is smarter. It makes, it makes a better deck. That would be amazing. You go to Ascension 20, and like the silent has like amazing deck. Or it clearly knows what they're doing. Wait, this is a cool mod. Okay, let's focus, let's focus, let's focus. Manually recombine with your leading slime, returning the maximum speed it took upon splitting and gaining one strength. So, don't we already gain strength when we absorb? This is a mod for the game. Yes, it's a mod. Called Downfall. Don't we already? Okay, I want to give a rare to like the Scrappoos. I want to give a rare to Scrappoos. I feel you, fireworks. All right, prepare Crush Plus. Next turn, gain three energy and three strength, and add Slime Crush to your hand. An ethereal four dam four energy deal thirty five damage. That's not bad. It's kind of worse than bludgeon, right? But the fact that of matter is you gain three strength and you gain energy. So prepare crush is pretty damn good. All right, you no longer discard your hands. You can no longer rest or black star. Well, I think coffee shipper is fine because we have so much healing in our life. So this is fine. They have reached the city. Thank you, oh heart. I will stop them. Oh, the ironclad. I've heard a lot of things about you, ironclad. I'm gonna put you in. I'm gonna stop you in your tracks. Let's go. One, two, three. That's a lot of campfires. Ooh. Let's do it. All right. So I can give. Whoa! Spend seventy-five souls destroy key to gain one dexterity. Oh! So instead of taking the keys to the hearts, I just break them and gain stats. Absolutely. So that is a um, smooth stone for seventy-five souls. Not bad. Great value. I want to lift, but I also want to scrap. The thing is, I don't have. I can do nibble. I can get rid of nibble. I gotta remember, I have scrap in mind, so let's, let's do lift. Let's just remember scrap is a thing to make our scrap use really big. Okay, you come across a dis disgusting pedestal with a glowing book sitting atop, The Art of Slime War. It appears this book contains the complicated advanced combat technique used by the slime boss and his minions. 
Remove all strikes and receive three upgraded tackles. Whoa. That's fantastic. Or get consult playbook and trigger a trap. Add four random tackle cards to your to your hand. They cost one less this combat. Four random tackle cards. Versus just getting upgraded tackles. The yeah, upgraded tackles seem really good. But I am curious to see the Nah. Wait. I can give the consult bait book to the scrappers. And then he gains two damage. How much how much is it worth it to feed the scrappers though? These are really neat creative additions. How are you doing festive? I'm gonna do get the upgrade titles. Let's lift again. Gotta get nice and strong. Gotta be a buff slime. Transform a card. Let's get rid of this tackle. And get something hopefully better. Whoa. Waste not. Return all zero cost exhausted cards to your hand. Whoa. That's pretty good. Things like Nibble, Haunting Lick, and um, Ooze Infused Drink. Not bad. If I recall, I, could, I can then destroy the key. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So next turn we can do a big old prepare crush. Let's go ahead and uh, kill that, kill that. Nice. Re taking damage is not that great because we have coffee trooper, but we do have ways to heal, right? So slime crush. If you don't, okay, so slime crush. If you are pain. Pile on here. Let's go straight damage. Um, I kind of want to use this because I haven't been using my potions. When you split, place this in your hand wherever it is. Apply the group to target. Target at the start of each of each of his turns. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, these are really good zero cost cards. Holy crap! All right. Wait, this is a, this is a really good equalizer as well. Um, I'll get rid of my scapoos. I have seven strength. I have seven strength right now. I think I almost have lethal. With Firepot, I have lethal. I'm not going to waste Firepot on this, right? What's up, Jeff Freeman? Yeah, it's a cool mod, man. How you been, uh, festive? Lethal with power? I already took damage, yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't. Fear of pain made it lethal. Holy crap. Mummified hand, fantastic. So can we take... We can do more than one duplicative form. And with mummified hand, that's not bad. I make sure to lose 15 HP, which is bad for a coffee dripper, but, like, duplicative form? I mean, this is a really good card. 15 block, apply 6 scoop. Choose a card in your hand, add a copy of that card to your hand. Wait, replication is insane. I also can bring this back with the waste knot. Wait, replication is nuts. If I get if I take this key, I can uh, do something else with it, right? Let's do it. What can we do with this? Raise max. Oh, it's better than a strawberry. It's just better than a strawberry, straight up. Yeah, I had a feeling. Alright, can I feed the scrap who's anything? I don't really want to get rid of my cards. Let's upgrade. Gain energy this turn. That's nice. Innate. That's not bad. With 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 uh, my hand, that helps you save save damage. So this is really good. Getting this innate is good because it helps us save a lot of damage in the long run. Because the hand helps us play a card opening hand, no problem. But also we have a lot of self damaging stuff. So that's good. The Colt will be placed. She took the thing. She took the thing that I got. All right. 
And what that she just walks away. Add three licks. Not bad. That goes well with waste not. Tackles to three more damage to enemies and one more damage to you. And this is this is okay because one more damage to me is not that bad considering I have fear our pain. And it make, even does more damage to the enemy now with fear our pain in mind. And it is a power for Muffin Hand. So I don't mind this. So she took the statue, guys. She said that they will be pleased. We're gonna keep that in mind. Fuel our pain. Then the goal here is to make it hit prepare crush, right? So in order to guarantee that, guys, we do this. And I know we're gonna have to do this first. That's fine. It's because it's for a purpose, and its purpose is playing that. I also suppose you can block the damage from stuff like that, which is insane. Replication duplicated form. So I can play two duplicated form, but I could also do double slime crush. And I could do 82 damage instead. The problem with duplicated form twice is that it, it does make me lose 15 HP. And that's not that good. So I'm gonna do eh. This is tough. Cause I can't play Living Wall Prepare and Slime Crush. Does lose 15 basically count towards Fear Pain? It does. What if I just let him hit me? What if I just let him hit me, actually? I guess I don't need Slime Crush, right? All the costs exhausted cards your hand. So, things like Replication. We have equalize as well. Whoa, and if we do vulnerable? Ah, but this is double equalize. This heals a lot. But I've already full max HP. Wait, this deck is very strong. I'm very strong right now. Wow. Whoa, thread and needle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm very strong. Gain four potency. Two turns from now, absorb all slimes. Increase the damage of all your spawn slimes, and then two turns we reveal them all. Wow. It's also another power, which is pretty good with the mouth at hand. Effects that apply gloop, apply one more. Let's do overexert. Yeah, you get the max HP back. So it's just really good. Feel our pain. Nibble. Dissolve. Draw a card, then exhaust a card in your hand. Add a number of licks to your hand equal to its cost. Let's exhaust tackle. Apply for goop. Okay, and now waste not. And we can start exhausting cards with things like dissolve, technically. I can start exhausting my deck down. This is amazing. That's an amazing card. Prepare crush. Wait, replication of prepare crush is quite good. That's quite good. I'll just do this. Make him goop up out of his mind. It's GG. Goop is an effect that it, for each stack of goop, I um. I do that much extra damage, and sometimes there's some cards that do more with the goop, like double the effects of that, and also, goop allows me to trigger consume effects. So if they have to have goop on them, for me to trigger consume effects on cards. Zero 15 damage and 3 damage to yourself, consume 13 bucks. This is an example, right? So, this is a 15 damage and 3 to yourself, and if they have goop on them, I can consume the goop and gain 13 block as well. It's an example. 
Deal two damage. Deals two additional damage for each for all of your cards containing lick. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this here. All right, let's see if he retained his health. He did. He did, and we have pure arcane duplicated form. How perfect is that? How perfect is this? And I also got to tackle with that hit. Fantastic. I should have played block first. Whoopsies. Overexert replication. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can replicate on waste not? Wait, is that potentially infinite? Wait. No, it doesn't work that way, but... That would have been kind of cool. Wait, but can I keep making waste knots? But it's not zero cost, that's the problem. What if I make it zero cost right now? What if I make it zero cost right now? Wait, did I just go infinite? Book it, cliff it, ship it, baby. I just went infinite. Ship it and cliff it, baby. And you think, oh, that's not going to do anything. Well, it is. Well, I don't know why, because he has goop. So, the goop is going to stack. Ship it and clip it, baby. Already going infinite. That's what I like to see. This is what we like to do, baby. We like to break games. Voice crack. And I should be able to kill him next turn. That works, man. That was beautiful. Three hours later. Because I'm the villain. What, I wonder if I can kill this shop more than once in a, in a, in a, in a, in the spire. Because there might be more shops in the future, right? Or does he just die for good now? I'm very curious. I can't believe we're beating the shop on our first run. It's fantastic. Fighting capitalism, you know, it's a, it's a tough fight. Somebody's got to fight the man. He has blocks, so I want to make sure I, I go over 207. He's vulnerable for the rest of his life as well. Not that it matters. Killing boss, yeah. So making boss is easier because if you kill the shop shopkeeper, then the bosses, aka the silent or the ironclad, haven't had access to the shop. And imagine a world where you're playing Save the Spire and the shop is like dead because somebody killed the shopkeeper. Like that's just a crazy universe. I've seen one attack and he's dead. I just seen any attack. Just seen any attack. Right, that's an attack. If he runs away, I'm going to lose my mind. Three hundred and thirty souls. Oh, my God. Okay. So, when you have two fear of pains, does it mean the first two things you play? Is that what it does? Collect. Boss collector. You're going to make one cost boss card in a turn. Gain 15 block, gain one strength, gain one dexterity. That's a good boss power. That's pretty good boss power, considering we have uh, Muff at hand. We got bottle tornado. What would we want to put in our hand? Wait, duplicated form and bottle that? That's a pretty good thing to bottle.
Uh, remove a sh defend or something. Remove corrosive spit. That's pretty bad. Corrosive spit's pretty bad. Let's remove that card. A living wall for more block. Sure. <laughs> I like the noises. Proceed. Study this fire is the same card. Oh, wait, I didn't read this. Add a random colorless boss card to your hand at the start of your next three turns. Oh, shit. That was an insane card. That was an insane card. You're not wrong. All right, but we got Fjord Pain duplicated form opening hand. Like, what a combo, all right? What a combo. It's poggers. Wait. Wait, look at this. Hey, we're just we're just we're we're insane. This is insane. I did comment, what's up man? Draw a card, then exhaust a card in your hand, add a number of flicks to your hand. Use the cost plus one. Um, yeah, I like this off because I can exhaust stuff. Wait, what, more three thorns? That's not bad either. That's pretty damn good. Growth Punch is cool scaling. Okay, dissolve. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. We're about to fight the Ironclad. I think we're ready. Feel our pain. Duplicated. You already know the deal. And Wasteland doesn't do anything right now, unfortunately. We're taking some damage. Manipulate time. Manipulate time, sir. We actually have a really good block on our deck as well. Let's dissolve. Prepare. Look at these licks. Look at these licks. Look how much goop they have. Add some uh, more goopy goop. Because why not? Boom. Draw a card. Heal two. Draw a card. Play for goop. The fact that this draws a card is amazing. I mean, you just play it and it draws a card. And I don't have to fight time meter, so that's just amazing. Feel our pain. Duplicated form. I mean, this is such an opening powerhouse. Wait, I forgot that I have replication. Whoops. Oh, wait, we have, wait, we have infinite again. Wait, I have the infinite again. Wait, no, I don't, because I don't have replication in my hand. What am I talking about? Wait, but I do. No, I don't, I don't. Fuck. I lied, I don't. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, yeah, so if you have pain, it's innate because I upgraded it. Good heal, good heal. Snake oil? Hmm. The fact that this just draws a card is amazing. I love it. Alright, Ironclad, what do you got for us? Alright, so he has a downfall buff as well. He's at 280 HP, okay. He only has two energy though. He has double stacked gear, yeah, not bad. He has a Tori. Impressive. He transformed two cards. Okay, he's got an inflame plus and an armament. I respect it. Cannot become weakened. He has ginger. Good, not bad. He chose the box. So he has a regret and a relic that was added. He has captain's wheel and he has red skull. Gotta keep that in mind. So at 140 HP, he's gonna have three additional strength. Nice. So let's do this and this. Can you handle our combo, sir? That's the question. I don't know if you can. He's doing some damage. Wait a minute. He's doing some damage. Okay, he's doing some damage. I, I want to double defend that. Wait, duplicated form is only for when it targets enemies. Got it. 
I knew that. I knew that. Get rid of his defense. Lick him up. Pair the crush. This is very nice. Alright, so this doubles it. He's got jacks. Oh, this guy has jacks. Oh, such and zero, you know, he didn't really know what he was doing, you know. Like, I, I can't blame him. Such and zero, you know, it's like, okay. Nibble. Lick. Lick. Split. Let's get protect. Dissolve. Living wall. More lickage. Just to prepare. Our bottle echo is very strong, to be fair. The ironclad is like, this guy's out of control! And he's not wrong. Except, where are my attacks? Wait, I don't have enough attacks in the deck. This is problematic. Wait. This is a problem. Hmm. I can do overexert twice, but I'm gonna do this. Wait, I just kill him. Ah, GG. Imagine you fight the slam and he goes infinite. Oh, that'd be sucky, huh? Another prepare crush, mass feed. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. If fatal, raise your max speed by 3. Now, this is insane because I remember you can do this on your little slimes in Act 1. So, in Act 1, you can feed on all your little slimelings and gain max HP. It's a cute little thing combo because, as you would expect, this card excels where it should excel because you're the slime boss. Now, another prepare crush. It's not a bad card. Mass Feed doesn't really do much here, but if anything, I can feed it to my Scrap Ooze and give it more damage. But I don't know, the Scrap Ooze is like, it's so paltry in comparison to everything else I'm doing with this deck. So I don't know. I don't even have time to give Scrap Ooze stuff. Whenever you split, place this in your hand wherever it is. I'm not splitting too much. I think I'm going to prepare Crush. It's a pretty good card. Okay. Sneko I. Whenever you consume, you heal four. All right. No longer gain potions, but you gain even more energy. I might just do Sozu. I don't care about the potions at all. I think I'm just doing Sozu. But I have Mofed Hand, so I don't need that much energy. And I have a relatively cheap deck. And Sneko I means I draw a lot more cards, which means prepare Crush. Is played more often. If I play Prepare Crush more often, then my all right, Sneko I just let's do it. Sneko Slant. You are needed in the beyond. I'm coming. Oh, is that the Watcher? Wait, I might just lose the Watcher because you know. Wait, so the Merchant's back? Time to go infinite again. Time to go infinite again. Is this a normal shot for me now? Well, damn. Well, then I took the wrong path. Wait. Fuck. I forgot that I also just have a shot for myself. Oh, I messed up. By doing what I did with Snake Hawaii, it ruined my innate stuff. Uh, I just ruined the game for myself. Uh, it's all over. It's all over. Yep, it's all over. Mmm, that's a GG.
Game on potency is 6 block and 6 HP. I should've just like done this so easy and just like... Whatever. Growth Punch is not bad. And when I use the Consume Effect, I do heal. Ah, I'm gonna skip this. Is this a regular shop? It is. Reduce the damage you take from tackle cards by 1. Gain 1 dexterity, 1 artifact. Add a random power card to your hand. It causes zero this turn. Ooh, I like that. Add 1 weak and 4 group to all enemies. Not bad. Let me save my money here. I do have the recall. Oh, membership card. Eee. We'll be fine. We're gonna be fine, exactly. It's gonna be totally fine. Eh. Get rid of Haunting Lick. Uh, I guess I might as well give it to the Scrapoos, huh? Get stronger, my friend. I got a recall as well. I got a break. I got a recall and break. Wait, so I got a recall and then break it. Okay, got it. I need souls for that. Oof. Nice. Ah, only one bus got a turn. That's I didn't get to equalize. Doesn't matter. Gain one intangible. Wait. Yes. Uh, let's recall. And then break the recall. We need slimes for it. Hopefully the elite gives me enough slimes to break the recall. Oh, I hope I get enough slimes to break the recall. Enough souls. Oh, please, 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 please. Please give me enough. I beg of you, sir. The first card you play, each turn that also tar uh, targets enemies, also commands. Down, everything's reversed. Prepare crush. I don't want to take this damage though, so. Intangible. Alright, we're fine. I should have done that first. Yeah, we get to break the keys. Ah, I don't have enough souls for it to break it. No. I don't have enough souls to break it. Ah. I need more souls. Wait. Hopefully, I, maybe I can do it in Act 4. Maybe there's like a, still Act 4, technically. That'd be cool. Alright, Scrapoos. I want to give you... Nibble. Get stronger, sir. 
Oh, another shop, technically. No. If I break the if I break the fourth key, the third key, I get attention for access. Damn it! I ruined it. My only chance to see my my heart leader. No. What's up, Michael? How you doing, man? Michael, I wasn't able to break the last key because I don't have enough souls. I'm so sad. Please tell me it's gonna be all right. You did a great job on this, Michael. This one is really outdone yourself. I also already got infinite. I got infinite against the merchant in the first run. That was fun. So it's always nice if you go infinite in your first run. Infinite can still work with Sneko, yeah, it can still work. It just, it just requires a little bit more luck. a little bit more luck um skip it skip it, skip 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 so it's a cloud team okay okay i'm not trying to attribute all the all, all of this to you so uh, my bad the people you collaborated with it's a very massive effort yeah, i can imagine this collaborate i can imagine i can imagine I have to break all the keys. Unfortunately, I didn't get to break the last key. Uh, I'll do it on the next run. I uh, I lost track of it. I spent all my souls. My first time. It happens. And we should be able to block this. So the fact that we can block it is fantastic. Nice. Memories. Lose one slam in exchange for two and two. It's not bad. It's pretty decent. This is for the dozen times you get to act and forget. You realize you forget to recall. That's, that's happened to me. Oh, that's happened to me. Well, yes, we, what was broken was the infinite that I did, but yes, the fact that we have Snickawai bottled is, uh, you know, quite strong. Absolutely. Yes, it is. It is quite strong. But look, this is the infinite. This is the infinite. Oh, I, I can show Michael. It's the infinite. We're here. Oh, hey, Michael. It's the infinite. How you doing? Um... So the reason why this wait this infinite where like next turn I get to take advantage of the uh, of of so what I need is the goop thing so what I need to do is dissolve something. Let me show you. All right. And now the goop makes sense, right? So now we do this, and the infinite is in full effect. Um, I just need to get rid of some cards. Alright, I'm almost messed that up. Yeah, I need to get rid of like... Get rid of this. Alright. Nice. Yeah, so... 
the Momfet Hand. The Momfet Hand. So I did I did the infinite before Sneko. Momfet Hand creates the um, Waste Knot and you get to duplicate it. But it works with Sneko Eye as well. I forgot to use the lick. Whoops. <laughs> Not that I need to do this though. Like, like we don't need to be doing this. But I'll, I'll lick them up a little bit. I'm a little, I'm a little bit hungry. All right, uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go ahead and do this. Um. Yeah, we don't need to lick them too much. But I, I one-shot the merchant, basically. I gooped him up, and then I just one-shot him. That was nice. That was nice. Grow is fine, right? I don't really care about slime spots. Or, or are we just killing with, like, uh, slime crush, right? I don't need a second grow. It's fine. All right, Entange, uh, and transient. I think I can actually beat the transient here in terms of prevent the next time you would be damaged by enemy attack, absorbing your leading slime instead. All right. I think I actually could go ahead and one shot this. Let's try this. Nine hundred ninety-nine Gupert or Riot. Okay. Oh, we got infinite. Oh my god. Well. Wait, I need, I need like, a, uh, there we go. Wait, I need. Wait. What I need is like a lick. I need a lick. Give me a lick. But does this count as zero cost now that I play this? I'm curious. Does it count as zero cost? I'm very curious. Um. Wait, why do I have three waste knots? Wait, what happened? I created a waste knot? What? What? How did that happen? I got licks now. We lost replication. My hand's full. I'm sad. I'm very sad. Go back to riding. Everybody riot. I had a chance, but I messed up. Wait, how did I get this back? Ah! It also resummons that. Wait, that's insane. It also resummons that. Wow. Whoa, that's insane. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we didn't do it. Right. Deal 15 damage and three damage to yourself. Tackles do more damage. Just combat. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna skip, skip, skip. All right. The Watcher, the final boss. Devotion opening hand. Wait, please relax. She also has an energy relic, Philosopher's Stone. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. She removed a strike from the deck. That's cool. It's got war paint. Ice cream. Ice cream devotion. Wait. She has a writhe curse for an extra relic. She has abacus. Interesting choice. She has self weak. Random face. Okay, there we go. And she applies vulnerable. Whenever she uh, breaks my block. Enemy leaves their stance. Remove all monster stance from the enemy. Wait, that's messed up. I just get a dark whisper? I guess it's like a secret little thing where with the sign boss. We have a little secret tech for her. That's cool. The first thing you can see me add a lick. Ah, for breaking the key. Nice. I wish I broke all the keys. Alright. So she's trying to do sash striking that. Well, that's mediocre compared to what I'm about to do to her. Alright. So replication, unfortunately, needs to be zero cost. If Sneko Eye makes it worse. If I didn't have Sneko Eye, this would have been a lot easier. See, look. If I didn't have Sneko Eye, this would be uh, infinite. Because this would be zero cost and this would be zero cost. Damn you, Sneko Eye. Damn you. She's gonna apply vulnerable because he broke my block, but I had an artifact. Sick. She's doing wallop. But if she doesn't do any damage, so then she, she. Wait, she hasn't. She's technically still doing damage, which is weird. Yeah, so when they get Divinity Stand, so let's, uh, you know what? I'll, you're getting too close for comfort. Let's just get rid of that. Bye. Wait, but I can bring this back. Slime Crush back. GG. All right, first run, you give... 252 souls back to the heart. The heart squirms in elation, pounding forevermore. For all your efforts, the door to the heart's chamber remains vulnerable. And that pesky, laughing, rug toting citizen got away from you. So you ask yourself, have you truly done enough? You feel they have given a total of 843,914 souls to the heart. A total of 14 billion souls have been given by all who have summoned by it. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Victory? And now we have Ascension and we have Unlocks. Oh, let's take a look. Divide and Conquer. Serve and Protect. Console Playbook. Oh. We can now play as the Guardian. 